Hi, I just want to make a brief vlog, I guess. I'm, I don't think I usually do much blogging, uh, vlogging, but I'll do it this time. Uh, I'm basically making a bow and arrow. A traditional, old-fashioned, good kind of bow and arrow. I'm making it in the California style. Because, uh, as far as I know, there was a lot of tribes around here that had the, uh, the white at the base and narrow at the, the ends design, which allows for a lot of inherent strength. Instead of forcing the material to do something it doesn't want to do, it's wide at the base and it's narrow at the tip, so it wants to bend more towards the tip, which is what you want. And it just allows for a very naturally strong design that doesn't have to go to extra length in order to try and be strong, it just naturally is strong. So I guess you could say it's an elegant design I uh, nicked the, what was intended to be the front, so I'm going to be making this the front, and I can just grind in, grind the, the, the thickness out of the back, and it'll be fine. Uh, I haven't cut out the handle, so I'm just trying to get the the fine tuning of the of the limb of of this limb. So I've already done this other one. The rest of this has to be done with sandpaper, I guess, just to make it nice and smooth. It's already pretty much there. This one, I'm going to use the draw knife, and then. Uh, Right now I've been using the hatchet, but I need to use the draw knife to finish it. It's just uncomfortable because I'm just doing it against my body, which is painful, but you do what you have to do. I don't have like a sawhorse or some actual woodworking furniture that I could use for holding it steady. I don't have a vise or anything. Yeah, so yeah, basically this is made of red oak, nice hardwood. Uh, I tried to use that for one second and it didn't work. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it cuts sideways into it. It just doesn't like to cut up the grain, which is understandable. If I had a big old bandsaw, I'd, I would love to use that, but I only have this. And so it was useful for cutting out like the diagonal into the, the, guide, the guidelines and then using the draw knife or the hatchet to go to cut it down to shape. But so yeah, I mostly have used hand tools for this. Uh, I intend to fully back it with sinew and hide, and uh, if I have enough, I don't know if I have enough rawhide, but uh, I that's what, I, what Lord willing and if I live, I intend to do, and that's what God said in the book of James, that that's how we're supposed to plan out our future, if it's his will, and if we make it that far, you know, you don't know the future. Oh yeah, and I was batoning my hatchet through there with a, with a stone, works good. Interestingly, sorry, interestingly, this S-Twing, it's all, uh, see if I can, it's already sort of, you can see it's sort of rusty underneath the paint. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. Yeah. yeah, it was already rusty underneath the paint, which is fine with me. This is already way too heavy. If it rusts a little bit, that's actually fine with me. That would actually improve the weight. <laughs> so... I, you know, I don't think that, I, I think rust can be a good thing. You can use rust to your advantage. Don't worry. Burn a candle. It's okay. So, uh, yeah. Really enjoying it, though. I just felt like, God, I was praying, God, I want to be a barbarian. I want to feel like a barbarian. And, uh, God, I just want to be and feel like a barbarian. And so, then I was going through Home Depot, and I saw, ah, there's a double-headed double hatchet. So I got it. And I'm real happy with it. You know, it's just for fun. And you know what? It works. I'm using it for this project. So, yeah. And yes, I'm being very careful to keep it away from my face and stuff. You just, you know, it's like any tool. I mean, you might as well be worried about this tool. Tools are tools. Got to be careful with them. So, that's basically what I'm up to. Trying to make this a uh, good project.